So this is the dependent ordination, dependent ordination logic. So there are two different types of the dependent uh, dependent ordinations. For example, smoke depends on the fire. Fire de depends on fuel or some kind of uh, other conditions. So if it, mm, either one of them doesn't exist, then it couldn't exist. That is dependent arise. Interdependent, in nowadays, um, in, uh, they've been using a lot, but uh, I don't, I still not really understand it, the difference of interdependent or dependent ordination. Maybe sometimes they think it's uh, similar, but sometimes it's a little bit different. Uh, they thinking some link inside to mate, making mate on something like that. If thinking like that interdependent, then it's a different concept of the Madhyamaka dependent ordination. Uh, so another dependent uh, means, for example, usually we think right hand is, right is absolutely existed, right? Right. But when we think how uh, right is uh, absolutely already depends on the left. Without the left, right cannot be existed, like chicken and egg. Then in order to exist, right is exist, life has to exist first. So life is lived. Life is also depends on the right. Without existing the right, life, life is also n can't be truly existed. Life, in order to exist, life is a have to d be existed right first. So which exists first? In reality, this means actually not truly existed. Without left, right doesn't exist generally. Without right, life doesn't exist. In a chicken and egg, same. Up and down, right and wrong, true and false. All dependent, depend, depending, depend origination. So anything kind of dependent on like this, that it means in reality, they are not inherently existent, not truly existent. But this kind of em emptiness is, a us uh, is not denying any appearance. It is not denying any cause and conditions. You know, it, uh, it, uh, when it appears things, at this very moment, it is emptiness. Because emptiness, that's why appear. Because right, si right side is not truly exist, that's why we have a left side. Because the life left uh, wasn't truly exist, that's why we have a, uh, we possibly have a ri right. All these are dependent, depending. We thought, we thought in uh, also in numbers, two is it depends on the one. One, one also also depends on the two. You know, we thought two. Then how can you identify the one? You cannot uh, without the flora fl flora. You cannot uh, identify the one. Without one, the, you cannot have the flora. Uh, two, three, four, you know. So, so everything in the num in the numbers, even in the light and the darkness. And uh, so, all every phenomena are dependent origination. That's why, in reality, they are not truly exist. That's why in the Heart Sutra. Mm, we we say form is emptiness. Emptiness of form. You know, sometimes when we think like that, okay, before the investigate, 
of before using these analytical systems, things was things were truly existed. After having, after investigated, or after using the Madhyamaka logic, then it's become emptiness. If we think like that way, then then it's a little dangerous. So then our analogic is looks like a hammer. Things are like a pot, spot, what pot? Hammer smash the pot. Before smashing the pot, pot pot is the usable and functional to for pouring wa tea and water. After smashing, it doesn't. If we think like that way, then it's we are still not uh, it's not having idea of the real emptiness. Emptiness means uh, whether we analyze or not analyze, the nature has never changed. Nature is always uh, like that. Whether we start in Madhimaka or not, our nature has will never change. What we are, we will be. Now only this um, knowledge inside will be let it changed. Okay? If you have uh, any question for warm up. Okay? Um, so I think this got me thinking about what we mean by existing. Okay. So I think the discussion so far has been sort of uh, predicating the concept of existence as having a reason. That means if you exist, it means you have arised mm -hmm. from something. You have arisen from something. But if we redefine existence mm -hmm. as um, just being, mm -hmm. In like uh, being in a p at in a point, mm -hmm. in a moment, in a point. Mm -hmm. So it's not in a relational character. Mm -hmm. That means it existing does not imply that it have arisen from something. Um, so there's no uh, causal relation or any other relation mm -hmm. implied. Mm -hmm. Then the arguments that you have shared with us so far mm -hmm. um, has. At this moment, I think, not, um, not negated this concept. This is concept of existence. Yeah, of okay. being existing in a point at a moment. Okay. And that, 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 that could be that we are existing in many, many, many moments. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I mean, many, many moments and many, many points are existing without relating mm -hmm. to uh, one another. That, that's, the, that's a very good, you bring very good point make it to clear our discussion. Uh, you know, you are thinking this being moment without relating others. Being a, being like, being a pen, a bottle, a mom moment. You think it's, it's it exists, it means this, right? Being, exist means being, without as relating. As in? I don't know what to think at this moment, okay. but suppose if we think that way, okay. um, what so how, what so how that do we get that concept? Yeah, it's very easy. How, why do you think like that? Then you should definitely have a best on there, some reason. Those philosophers that bro reason that born is for itself, that's born from others, that's born from both or neither. They bring these reasonings. Once you're already cutting the root, the tree will, will fall down. It's the same thing when you negate reasonings. Your thesis automatically will collapse. Like you, just now you're thinking the thesis. Without the reasoning, just uh, you feel or think, uh, gasping like that. That's uh, maybe our tendency. Because of our tendency, we think like that. But uh, right now, we analyzing like that. Yes, we think like that. That's uh, the delusion. That's the illusion. Why? Because we think like that, but it's not 
exist as we think. Okay, it's being exist without relating any others. Okay. It co pos could possibly, possibly be like that without relating, uh, relating any others. Give me the example, like such as like this and that. So we couldn't, we couldn't, we couldn't give the any example like, without relating any others. We did. We couldn't find. I can't find anything. That uh, means real you are. That, that means. Like that. that means mm. it isn't. Mm. But but I can imagine. Okay. That, in my mind, I can imagine a point. Yes. In space and in time. Yes, you can. I can imagine. You can imagine mm. universal in. What the? Sussman seed. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You can imagine mm. universal is in a Sussman seed. <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't but mean it's real. Uh, yeah, that yeah. doesn't mean you can prove. Yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah. Right now, is the, the analyzing things. We need to have a fan assert. So right now, you couldn't find the things it, it's being without related anything. That uh, it's actually Madhyamaka logic makes sense. Making point, you know, that it's making, uh, helping us to, it's really, you know, it's making sense. So that's the, na Nagarjuna's negating reasonings is cutting the root. If there's no basis, uh, then the cannot hold the, the thesis. Logics and the reasoning is the kind of foundation or the supporting of the thesis. So, so exist it means exactly you explain. The be, it's being itself, being exist independently, inherently. This is more Dharma terms, isn't it? Inherently, truly, intrinsically. So this exists. That's what usually we gasping. How we gasping things like that way. You know, the, even though we don't know level of those, but we tend to throw the, our tendency we gasping things like that. That's why all the these samsari things are coming. So now we are doing analyze the. Our what uh, the way of the uh, our gasping things are wrong. Improving how wrong is because the object are not as being as we gasping. Gasping, clinging, you know. So. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I want to ask you, I can slightly understand what you have said just now. Okay. Maybe I understand, maybe I don't. But uh, the thing is, if you, um, according to the theory, yeah, we somewhat, I feel, things are not truly exist, mm, right? Things are not truly exist. Right. Uh -huh. But uh, how come they have weight? Weight. Yes. Okay. There are something heavy okay. and there's something not so heavy, okay. depending on their uh, yeah size or so. Okay. So since they are not uh, truly exist, okay. so they are all our illusion. Okay. They are from our illusion. Okay. But they they are so solid, like. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. So I I will ask you first. I will uh, I, I will ask you first. Oh. You know, we always know that our nightmare and beautiful dream, mm. the both are not uh, truly existed. How come one uh, dream is so terrified, one is so beautiful? But uh, after I wake up, I know it's a dream. Yes. So, be so beautiful <laughs> or, or, or terrified, <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> So what I'm trying to say that he you feel heavy mm. or light or 
you see beauty or ugly, all are just because of the, our ignorance dream. Okay, illusion, it's just illusion. You know, uh, you can, what I'm trying to say that in a dream, nightmare or uh, having beautiful dream mm. are equally not to really exist both. Mm. But one is a kind of pleasant dream. Mm. One is a terrified dream. That's a can, we, we can have this kind of perception, right, in dream. And the same thing in, a, in this relative level. Although the heavy things, light things, in, in, it's in reality, it's a, equally same not to be existed. But like we, kind of, it's an ignorant state, relative level, conventional level, we can feel light, feel uh, heavy. A same thing we can see bigger and small. In eye, we can see bigger and also small. And the like, uh, mm, it's a kind of a uh, tangible, right? Mm. Tangible? Yes, yes. Tangible thing, you can uh, rough and soft. Mm. It's also kind of a different, uh, another perception of the sense of the body. Sense of the uh, eyes, we see bigger and small, different color and colorful and without color symbol. And the perception of the mm, body sense, then we feel heavy and light, feel mm, rough and soft, and warm and cold. Those are the also perception of our body. No much, no different. So in the reality, in reality, in the ultimate level, they are not heavy. They are not light. They are not no neither. In reality, ultimate level. So, but it's just a relative level, conventional like us. Until we fully wake up, we have heavy light, soft, rough, everything does exist until we fully awake. Until we awake from a night, we have a beautiful dream and a nightmare dream also similar. So this, this, uh, we, when we, uh, right, right now we, have a strong belief that heavy is truly heavy exist. Light is truly light. For example, a cut, cotton. This what you fit, what you call? Cotton. 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 This um, light. Light. And then another iron. Iron, iron is heavy. so heavy. Uh. We are feel like they have a perception like that, and we grasping it is truly like that in in reality. But sometimes when I hold the iron, I want to think iron is emptiness, but it doesn't become lighter. <laughs> 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 yes, that's a, that's a tr tr that's a, uh, also we mm, you know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so the thing is interesting. like how to make use of this Inter emptiness. Inter interesting. Uh. You holding the alcohol, just holding alcohol. You know the is a. Uh, alcohol, it will not drown you. You have to sip it up until uh, how many times you have to uh, drink it. Then we you really, really drink it. Same like uh, you uh, having concept of emptiness, you just only think it, it wouldn't make any different much. You have to do meditate <laughs> this concept Think this concept many times is possible until you're really dunk, become crazy, <laughs> crazy wisdom. <laughs> so then, at the that time, case when it became crazy wisdom, and then you are really kind of that. Then uh, you know you, you can you, you can milk a printer cow. <laughs> so that's just not. Thinking 
one-time thinking, oh, that's not enough. We should it, mm, sort of the build uh, kind of, it's uh, for sake of the conversation, we should uh, build a new habit tendency, habit, new habit. For example, like, uh, yeah, so that's enough, okay. So, uh, sorry, so do, do you mean that we have to, uh, only through uh, meditation on the emptiness, mm -hmm. doing meditation on the emptiness, then uh, in order to break our grasping mm -hmm. on the things, that's that the only way? That's right. Ju putting into practice, I will use this, uh, uh, this word. Putting into practice the in the your knowledge. Then also, accumulate merit extremely important for this. Having devotion and then accumulate merit uh, for this will help us to have right view of emptiness. Thank you. So uh, it's uh, accumulating merit. It's uh, extremely important for uh, having right view or emptiness or n n this dependent origination. So there's many ways to accumulate merit. Many ways to be accumulated merit, it doesn't really, it's, uh, it's you know, it's many, way, many ways to accumulate merit. If we have a knowledge of the how to accumulate merit, uh, just, uh, uh, for example, generate bodhicitta. That's one of the best mm, wishing bodhicitta. That's we can do, right? Wishing bodhicitta, application bodhi bodhicitta, it's, uh, uh, it depends on our capacity. But wishing bodhicitta is every one of us can do it. Just wish to achieve enlightenment, to make wish I fully enlightened. I wish myself to full, uh, fully enlightened for for sake of other beings or for sake of uh, all this kind of a vision bodhicitta. The mm, accumulated merit, this kind of help us to have a right view on emptiness. And then also another way of the being right generosity. For being right generosity, it doesn't mean to give everything you have. <laughs> being right generosity means, is, uh, for example, like small things from starting, giving from mm, things which make please and others, from smile, what we s usually smile, and uh, pro from just uh, say nice word, which make other people comfort. Those very, we don't have to pay any pen, panels. And then also, even uh, like uh, donate some sing single cents to in the right place. For example, like kind of a, what we have uh, here, translation project, such as 84,000 project. It's uh, like if you only putting one single cent, it's uh, that you are put, putting this uh, mm, piece of this, what called? Spirit, spirit in the ocean. The, it will remain until ocean is remained, remained. So this kind of such as this kind of project is extremely great opportunity to making a community merit. This kind of just being generous it doesn't mean that you being so kind of mm, big sponsor or something like that. You know, being generous. It's all because of the, our mind. And so, and the, like then being, can this kind of are uh, the accumulate merit, and it helps us to have a right view on the emptiness. And also it helps us to able to meditate, putting the knowledge into practice. So mm, accumulate merit and dedication it, pray with throw wishing, those are, these are the important. So much. Mm -hmm. uh, no question. Yeah, I have one. Okay. Okay. Um, 
So I have questions about born from self and born from others. Okay. So if someone says something is born born from others, is it something like they think something is created by God? Is part thinking that things are created by God is thinking that things are born from others, correct? That's also. Correct. Right? That's also already included there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um so we will ask this kind of people, so who created God? So they say, oh, God is created by itself because it's God. So, so that they already ex already accept the book, mm, you know, that uh, <laughs> some things are arising from self, uh -huh. sometimes uh, some things are arising from others, from both. Okay. So we should apply those two logics on two places. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> this Nagarjuna's two logics are two two areas uh -huh. when we uh, trying to discuss about this um, uh, that the, the you know phenomena things which they believe the design by the god design it, design it by god right yep. created by god. by god so that means that then the things are uh, they definitely uh, have an answer uh, the chicken comes first, no, egg comes mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. God which uh, created first. Yeah, but God is created by itself first. Because no, I mean, uh, chicken and egg, huh? which, which, which God created first? He created everything at the same time. Uh, same time. <laughs> 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 I mean, I mean, God is so great, Just he created everything. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, that okay. kind of thing. Why chicken for egg? I don't know. But uh, this, uh, we, we <laughs> actually uh, uh, say like that we only should apply these uh, things arising from itself. Uh, the, 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 then if the mm, kind of uh, have uh, some make sense, uh, the logic for God is arising from self, if negating God arising from self, that's already negating everything. If the root already cut down, mm -hmm. then other no need to work harder. Okay, that means um, uh, my reasoning is God doesn't truly exist and so we we sh we are on the discussion <laughs> still. Uh. So we should discuss God does exist or not. That is actually here phenomena, all those things. It's a just is a here is bring the logic. Mm -hmm. We can put discuss God. God is how you know that we mm, we need to definition God first. Whoever believe God created in things, we need. In order to debating to this theory, we need to God definition first. Okay. So if we don't know the definition of God, we cannot know. We 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 can't know how to debating on it. Mm -hmm. We first we need to know the God definition, and then also we need to know how they think God is the truly exists. Mm -hmm. Why reason they have? What kind of reason they have? Then we can discuss. Mm -hmm discuss for the furthermore to until you know so it will be very interesting yeah. if they only play the logic actually more fun than play sport <laughs> 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 it's only mm, but then uh, the some sometimes they don't care the logic just yeah. oh my one right yeah. no no that, that doesn't make sense even don't hear what you listen then it Logic doesn't very really matter. We can't play very well. <laughs> okay. Can, us, can I ask? Um, okay. Relatively, does a creator God exist? Relatively. Relatively. Relative sense. Relatively. In relative sense, God, God doesn't. Uh, does it exist? I would say no, but. Well, that's um, also, we need to know the, what kind of God you are talking about. Ah. <laughs> okay. So you are just talking about the heaven yeah. beyond. Yeah, does exist. Mm -hmm. But if you are uh, talking about the God, which is truly inherently, permanently, uh, independently exists, one, then that cannot be proved. Yeah. Not only ultimate level, even a religious level, cannot be proved. Mm -hmm. We can think just just now, in gentlemen, we have a discussed being is itself without relating. Mm -hmm. So we can imagine. We think, we can think, but we can't prove. Mm -hmm. We can't prove as we think 
as we imagine. That means is our concept or grasping is something wrong, mm -hmm. not right. So. Okay, thank you. Okay. Can for me I ask a question? Okay. I would like to continue. Um, just now, uh, there was a question about um, uh, why things are heavy or light. Mm -hmm. Can I say? Uh, can I think of it this way? Mm -hmm. Um, all these things are in fact illusion upon illusion mm -hmm. and uh, perception upon perception. When perception upon perception, that means there's one, one uh. illusion leading to another. Okay, okay, it, okay. it might have been such that it was never like in the beginning mm -hmm. because you have built up many perceptions mm -hmm. such that you have not come back to the emptiness already. So mm -hmm. you are not able to perceive that even that heavy is empty. Mm -hmm. can, I, can I see it this way? See it this way. Yes, because mm -hmm. it's like if, for example, if you did not have a previous illusion of things, you built up a web of things already, right? Concepts, full of concepts, mm -hmm. such that today you say, oh, this thing is metal, it's heavy, mm -hmm. this thing is feather, it's light. Mm -hmm. So in fact, if you never had a web of illusions that have contributed to all this, and you actually have, you are at the root where it is all empty, you will not have, mm -hmm. a, you will never have thought that this was heavy in the first place. That's right. So, so you can 